So this video is about three wire source of operation. Earlier it was keypad source of operation. Now three wire. Now what is this three wire? In three wire, we generally push to start. We use push button to start the motor. We use push button to stop the drive, and generally we use toggle switch to change the directions. So we have three wires, and these are interlinked. These are connected to these terminals. So let's see that in detail. This is the wiring diagram. Okay, for three wire control. So in three wire control. What we are doing is we are using 11 number, which is 24 source input, and connected to your relay contacts 6, 2, and 3. So we are, we are using three relays. This is R2, R3, and R6. So let's remove the other one to avoid any confusion. 0, R1, that's not how it's. So this is R2, R3, and R6. So we have three outputs. It means that we have to. This is what we are doing using a PLC. You can do using a push button as well. Instead of this NC contact, you can use NC switch. Can be done. Is instead of using NO contact, you can use NO switch. And here you can use a toggle switch. Okay, so that can also be done. But we are doing using a PLC. Okay, so our out colon zero slash two. This is the output. If this gets on, your auto relay R two will be on, and this will close the contact between eleven and two. If this happens. This will start the drive. Okay, when you provide 11, when you connect 11 to 2, just for a moment, just for a pulse, it will latch the drive. That's the three bar. And when you remove the pulse, when you disconnect this once, this 0, 1, and 11, it will stop the drive. And when you provide signal from this 11 to 0, 3, it will change the directions. Okay, so to make it easy, I have this letter logic here that says 0, 2, and 6. We, we have three outputs. So now the first thing is we have to first enter the parameter in the VFD. Okay, so this was three wire. Let's see what are the parameters. Parameters 106 again, start source, the same parameter in which we have to enter one. Okay, so that's the parameter here 106. Go inside and enter one. This is one. Press enter again. So as soon as I press enter, you'll find this LED goes off because now the control has been shifted from this control keypad to external control. So I'll go back here. This is a frequency. Now, let's move to PLC and see how this is working. So, let me adjust the size. Yeah. Now, when I run this out to once, this is a bit which I'm going to forcefully turn it on. Toggle on and toggle off. Hold on. All right. So now, if I turn this bit three on once, okay. Let's see that. If I turn it on once. And turn it off so I've just given a one pulse input this has started my drive so you can see motor is running here okay just by turning on, turning it on once so what happened when I turn out to this goes on this get connected to zero two and gets off okay this is what happened now this is for my reverse I don't want to touch that even now let's stop it to stop it I will just turn it once so when I run this bit two it will turn on out six when out 6 is on, this is NC, this will be open. So when this opens, drive gets stopped. Let's see that. Chocolate. This has stopped the drive. I have removed the switch. Drive is stop. I'll explain again why it stopped. Because it needs constant supply of 11 and 1. Even when you purchase a drive, you'll find this wire is already connected. So we have done it using an NC contact. If this NC gets open, no matter what's happening, drive will stop. All right. When this get connected, when 11 and 2 gets connected, drive will start. It will push to start. It will latch itself. When this 11 and 3 gets connected, drive will change the direction. So let's see the change in direction now. So right now, I have to start it once. This has started the drive. To change the direction, I have to start this one. So when I run this one, drive will go to reverse. You can see it will go to reverse. It's the motor happening. Okay. To make it forward again, I will turn off the out three and it will go back to forward to stop the drive I have to run it once that will stop the drive so this was about three wire control we are not using this one we will do that in later one two three and six three outputs two three and six for push to start push to stop and to change the direction and I was telling you again it's not necessary to use relays you can use switches here as well so if you want to if you want to have a little idea I'll just tell you what switches you can connect here this is normally open Okay, you can connect that to here because many times you may have to connect it for your operators to work 
like this for this one we can connect a toggle switch like this this is for direction and for this contact you can connect your NC switch so when you press this switch the simulation may not be happen when you press this drive will run when you press this drive will stop and this will change the direction okay so this is the other way of doing that but we prefer to do it using a PLC as I told you before because that is a little more adding more complexity to the business all right if you have any question post a query thank you so much